Welcome back to another exciting episode. Today is day zero of a very special test that I'm gonna do on that monstrosity behind me. Now here's part of the back acreage that I have on my lot that, you know, I really like kind of the wild feel to it, but my neighbors, not so much. <laughs> so they've uh, made a little bit of a stink. So we're going to go ahead and start cutting this down, but I'm gonna do a test and I'm only gonna use the battery powered Ryobi products that I own to see if we can take care of this. Now, just to give you an idea of just how immense this job is, we're gonna walk the perimeter of the property. You already saw a little bit on the one side. You can see all the way back to the tree line, way back there. And then we're gonna walk, of course, along the front side here. So you can see just how grown over it is. Now, normally I do um, mow down the grass part about once a year, usually in the fall or in the spring. This year it was gonna be in the spring, but I thought, hmm, all this new equipment that I got that's battery operated, I might be able to do it with that. At least that's my hope. Now, of course, I'm not gonna cut down all these trees, but I am gonna cut down enough trees to be able to mow and you know, mow pretty easily. So as you see, we're still, we're still going. There's a lot of very young trees, a lot of very old trees, and even some trees that didn't make it through the winter. So I gotta cut that up. And yes, I'm gonna use the Ryobi battery operated chainsaw for that. Oh, there is one thing that's not, actually two things that are not uh, Ryobi. One is a shovel. So I'll probably need a shovel to fill in some uh, groundhog holes. But also, I have to use a trailer that I'm gonna hook on the back of the, uh, the Ryobi zero turn mower. Alrighty, and then we're to the back of the property. That's gonna be one heck of an experiment. So again, this is day zero. See how many days this takes. And of course, if it's raining, we're gonna to have to, I guess I won't count that day. Just days that I actually am able to come out here and work. How's that? So then you get a good idea of just how long something like this would take. So there we go. I can't wait to get started. It's gonna be an adventure. Okay, this is day number one. Kind of see a little uh, salmon back there. So there's a few trees behind me, but just want to give you kind of a, a point of reference, that sand mound. All right, let's see if this might even be a possibility. I'm gonna go ahead and do a test cut, uh, one straight shot. Let's see what happens. And this is what I'm up against. Well, can it do it?
right, there's the sand mound right there. Just to give you a reference from day one, cut down a few trees, as you can see by the pile here, <laughs> right there. This is what we got accomplished. And right there is that test trail that I did at the beginning of the video. That's where it came out at. Okay, here's day two of the great experiment. Um, as you saw previously on the video, I did do one big area. Now we're gonna go ahead and try to do this area back over here. I just got off work, so I only have a few hours before uh, sunset. It's starting to, sun's starting to go down. So hopefully I can get at least this area <laughs> all along here uh, mowed down with the zero turn mower. Okay, and here's the end result. I want two ways. I want this way and this way. So as you can see, it is a big improvement. And as you can see here, I was able to start on the far end as well. So I got some, some pretty good amount of work done on the second day. Okay, today we're on day three. So all those little trees in there, the yearlings, we're gonna have to cut those down. And also, try to get back in there. Because <laughs> that's some uh, pretty heavy stuff back in there. So what I'm gonna use is this bushwhacker. <laughs> and it is, of course, the Ryobi uh, battery operated. The 40 volt, as you see right there. So let's see what this thing does. Okay, so we cleared that area out. Now, one thing I failed to show you is there was a mound of dirt right here. We leveled that out, so we did use the shovel. Sorry, I forgot to turn the camera on for that. But as I can see, this whole area here, we got all the yearlings out. Okay, here we are back another day. <laughs> I lost count. I'm not even going to count anymore. I'm just going to say another day. And as you can see here, there are a lot of trees that are kind of bent over and I can't really get under there to mow the grass. So we're gonna go ahead and do some tree trimming and we're gonna use the 10 inch pole saw. Now, of course I did do an unboxing for the pole saw as well. And for the Ryobi replacement battery <laughs> right there, I'll go ahead and put all those links down below in the description. Now we're also gonna be using the uh, 14 inch Ryobi chainsaw. And obviously I did an unboxing of this as well. <laughs> so I'll put a link uh, down below for this too. Okay, as you can see here, we also trimmed a lot of this tree area trimmed all along the back area tree there so we can take the lawnmower under that thing. And of course some trees in the middle, we trim that down as well. This is just to give you a bit of a perspective, <laughs> just how, how high this thing is. That's gonna be one heck of a bonfire.
We also had a little bit of fun making some trails. Come along with me, I'll show you a few. As you can see, you really can go ahead and take care of a whole big area with only battery power tools. I'd really appreciate it if you could like this video, write a comment, and please subscribe. Oh, and hit that bell while you're at it. And as always, have a great day.